This is a, a video tutorial on how to get uh, a brick texture to follow an arch in Vectorworks. Okay, um, now and this all has to do with how this object is created. Um, if you create the object um, as an extrude, say you, you create some curves and make the, the closed object um, in this type of view and extrude it, this won't work. Um, so the key here is to create um, a sweep object. I'm going to start from scratch here. Um, I'm going to place a locust at an arbitrary point and I'm going to create a rectangle that's 8 inches by 4 inches and I'll locate it centered on the left on that locust. Um, and now I'm going to move that rectangle uh, 24 inches to the right and what I'm going to do is that sweep is now going to create a four foot arch. I just moved it the radius. So if I select that rectangle and the locust it'll sweep this rectangle around that locust. So here I will go to the sweep command and the height and radius are already set from the objects. Um, the start angle will keep zero and the arc angle will make 180 to make a half circle. Um, the segment angle, let's do, let's say, 10 for now. Okay, so now we have a sweep. If we look at that from the front or top view, you'll see that sweep is laying down. So let's go back to the front view and select it and we'll rotate it left 90 okay and uh, so now it's uh, you'll see here I'd like it to face the front view so I'm going to go to a top view and I will rotate it once again to the left 90 degrees and now we have uh, have it positioned how we want it okay let's go to an isometric and we'll render this again okay and now I have a texture that I had uh, just uh, grabbed a hold of an image of a, a header course so that's what this is here it's just a header course texture um, just repeating so um, and I have that sized to the correct size um, so that's just a basic thing and what we'll do is just uh, apply this texture and I'll just double click and you see here it actually uh, nicely goes along that arch um, pretty well. Now the orientation is not right. I want this to be uh, an, uh, like a header course. So we do need to rotate that. So I'm going to select the object, go to the render tab in the info palette, and change this to a 90 rotation. And now you can see the orientations better. Um, the mortar joints aren't quite right, and that's because of this offset. So let's take that offset and make it zero. And now I got it. Now I could use some other changes maybe if your texture is made a little differently. Now you'll see some distortion here. And uh, this distortion is directly related to the, uh, the number of segments or angle of, seg of, of each segment on the uh, sweep. Um, so to uh, to correct that or to make it more accurate, <clears throat> we want to go back to the shape tab and and make this a smaller value in the segment of the sweep. Um, if we change it to five, you'll see here now it's much less distortion. Uh, if I go to let's say two and a half, now it's it's very little. Um, so that gives you a really really nice smooth. Um, uh, texture curving around that arch and looks pretty well.